Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Benjamin Phillip from the Department of Entomology in the College of Food, Agriculture, and Environmental Sciences at The Ohio State University. This video is designed to help school teachers, administrators, and staff manage bed bugs in a school setting. The short video will include five things that can be done to lower the likelihood of bed bug infestations in school buildings and reduce the chance of transmitting these pests among students and staff members in the school. The tips included in this video are an important first line of defense against bed bugs, but are not meant to be the only thing done if a bed bug is suspected in the school. As a reminder, the state of Ohio has administrative laws regarding the application of pesticides in schools, and only certified pesticide applicators should apply chemical pest control. The most important first step in dealing with a bed bug infestation is proper identification. There are several guides that can be used to help identify bed bugs of all life stages, including this card from The Ohio State University showing bed bugs and other household insect pests. Adult bed bugs are brown to reddish brown, oval shaped, flattened, and about 5 millimeters, or approximately the size of an apple seed. Their flat shape enables them to easily hide in cracks and crevices. Their bodies become more elongated, swollen, and dark red after a blood meal. Immatures have the general appearance of adults, but are nearly colorless and only become dark as they mature. Eggs are white and about one millimeter long, or approximately the width of a pencil lead. Bed bugs can be difficult to identify for the general public. For example, carpet beetles and their shed exoskeletons are often confused for bed bugs because they share similar appearances and are found in similar areas of the house. Treatments without a proper identification can contribute to insecticide resistance and further exacerbate an ever-growing issue. If identification help is needed, resources such as Ask an Expert or the C. Wayne Ellett Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic at The Ohio State University should be consulted. If a bed bug is seen or signs of a bed bug are detected, the next most important step is a thorough inspection of the area. Since bed bugs are excellent at hiding, inspection efforts should concentrate on places where they might have been brought to school, like student cubbies or lockers, break rooms, and school buses. Additionally, locations such as cracks and crevices, window and door frames, floor cracks, electrical boxes, furniture, pictures, and wall hanging should all be carefully examined. A strong flashlight is a valuable tool for inspections. As a reminder, finding one bed bug does not constitute an infestation. The cryptic nature of bed bugs make their detection among clutter very difficult. Therefore, it is recommended that piles and clutter in the classroom are eliminated. This is certainly not practical in all situations. However, if bed bugs are discovered, it is likely that the clutter will need to be removed anyways. Proactively reducing bed bug harborage sites is beneficial in the long run and will make future inspections easier. Since nearly all bed bugs detected in a school are because of a hitchhiker and not the signs of an infestation, separating students' personal belongings is very important. Tight fitting plastic tubs can be helpful in keeping belongings separate and help to minimize the transfer of bed bugs from individual to individual. In the event that bed bugs are discovered in the belongings of a student, discreetly remove the belongings from the classroom so that a school nurse or a qualified individual can perform an inspection. Any bed bugs that are discovered should be collected for examination by a professional and the belongings should be sealed and sent home along with educational materials and resources for the child's family. There is generally no reason to exclude a student from school activities or to close the school as these are unnecessary and contribute to the stigma surrounding bed bugs. Heat is a very effective way for treating bed bugs when used properly. Luckily, many schools have access to a clothes dryer and the high heat setting on most of these dryers can reach the thermal limit for bed bugs. For objects that can't be placed in a clothes dryer, there are commercially available heat boxes that can also reach above the thermal limit for bed bugs. These can be economical investments for a school or school district. As a reminder, while heat is effective when the treatment is occurring, there is no residual protection. 
Therefore, the treated materials must be separated from all untreated materials to avoid cross-contamination. While none of these will take the place of expert treatments made by pest management professionals, these tips can be vital to reducing an infestation and reduce the likelihood that bed bugs are passed among students and staff. If you have questions about these tips, feel free to reach out to bedbugs at osu.edu for more information.